This is Laura Chapel, and welcome to Wireshark Tip 16. If you want to read these tips as they're released, you can follow me on Twitter at Laura Chapel. In this tip, I'm going to show you how we apply an IO graph line that's based on the bad TCP coloring rule string. And we do this to correlate TCP problems with throughput problems. This can be a great way to prioritize our troubleshooting steps as well. I've opened up the trace file called http-download-bad. Now that trace file is available at wiresharkbook.com. It's one of the trace files that's a supplement for the Wireshark Network Analysis book. And I want to correlate the moments when we have low throughput with potential TCP problems. In tip number six, I showed you how to create a button here called bad TCP. And that button is based on the bad TCP coloring rule string. This time I'm going to add that bad TCP coloring rule string to an IO graph. So I'm going to open up my coloring rules window and I'll double click on the bad TCP coloring rule because I want to pull this string right here. I don't want to have to type it all over. So I'll just copy that and close these windows down. Now I'll select statistics and IO graph. I'll widen it so I can see the full graph time. Now in the graph 2 area where we have the filter location, I'm going to paste that in and select to graph this. Now looking closely at this, we can see that we have sudden jumps in TCP problems around the same time that we have drops in throughput. So this increase in TCP problems seems to be related to this drop in throughput. We have another increase in TCP problems at the time that we have another drop in throughput. It seems that all through this, every time we have an increase in TCP problems, we have a drop in throughput. And this can be verified by clicking on the graph at the points where we have a drop in throughput. We click on that and we can see in the background the recognizable black background, red foreground of TCP problems. We can try to click on a high point and we don't see that. Click on a low point, and sure enough, we do see those colors. Click on a high point, it looks good. Click on one of the low points, and sure enough, we do see that it appears that we have a relationship between TCP problems and throughput drops. If you're uh, creating this graph and you find that you have so much traffic, a lot higher traffic rate than I have here, that it's very difficult to see the, the correlation, Consider going to the scale area, and in the scale area, although it's off of the screen, let me see if I can bring this down far enough to show. There. In the scale area, consider selecting a logarithmic scale. Then when you have these drops, and you have such different numbers that you're trying to graph, you can bring them closer together visually so that you can do the correlation here. Sure enough, it does look like we have some TCP problems in this trace file. And we can certainly see where we want to start our troubleshooting. Right here, it looks like every packet is some sort of a TCP error packet. We can change our format from line to F bar format to see that a little better here. But it seems like all of this dead time here most likely is related to some TCP problem. A little bit further on, we also see a significant drop at this point. It might be a little bit easier in this particular trace file to go back to the auto scale so that we can see the significant drop later in the trace file. This is a graph that you should always build when you're troubleshooting TCP-based applications. If you want to read these tips on the day that they're released, you can follow me on Twitter, at Laura Chapel. And for more Wireshark training and tips, visit chapelu.com.